The presidents of Iran, Afghanistan and Tajikistan have met in a trilateral summit in Tehran. The one-day meeting was aimed at giving a boost to the region's economy through building new railways and roads for the transit of goods between the Middle East and Central Asia. During the meeting, both Iran and Tajikistan vowed to help Afghanistan to eradicate poverty and call for a non-military solution to the crisis in that war-torn country. Amir Mehdi Kazemi has this report from Tehran. These three leaders represent countries that share a common language, Farsi. But what motivates the presidents of Iran, Afghanistan and Tajikistan to gather in Tehran is something beyond language commonalities. This is the fourth time that the three heads of state get together in a trilateral summit in order to strengthen relations. This is a gathering between brothers in a large family. There are many common interests among us. We have learned that no one can solve the problems of our region except ourselves. Hosted by Iran, the summit emphasized on the regional benefits that the three countries could provide each other in the field of trade, energy and security. I think that the time has come for us to cooperate more actively in developing our region before it's too late. The three sides signed a memorandum of understanding for the formation of a joint commission. The Afghan president, Hamid Karzai, whose country is caught in a grip of war between foreign troops and the Taliban, called upon Iran and Tajikistan to assist their neighbor in developing its economy by paving the way for the construction of a new transit route, connecting the markets of the three countries to each other and neighboring China. We are emphasizing on the development of our trade and transit routes. This will benefit all countries in the region. Iran, Tajikistan and Afghanistan have repeatedly announced that their mutual interests are tied to one another. One of the examples is Afghanistan's electricity imports from Tajikistan's hydroelectric dams built by Iran. The two landlocked countries look at Iran as the best access route to the world markets for their exports. The three leaders hope that by establishing new roads and railways, they can improve the region's economy. They believe that such a development can help bring stability to poverty-stricken areas such as Afghanistan by creating jobs for the people, but only if the promises would be put into action rather than remaining on paper. The next trilateral summit between the three states will be held in the Afghan capital, Kabul, next year. Many experts believe that these three countries can play a significant role in maintaining security and stability in Central Asia and the Middle East. Amir Mehdi Kazemi, Press TV, Tehran.